What is very important, in my view, is the necessity um, to not overly idealize art, because on the one hand, there's an idealization of certain aspects of art in the Gross of Deutsche Kunst Ausstellung, um, which made people, you know, look away, made, you know, that led to a kind of, you know, narcotization, if that's your word, <laughs> of sensibilities or criticality. And if there is any appearance of politically engaged subject matter in Hase Kunst going forward, it will not be based on the principle of narcotization, but on the principle of, in, of critical engagement. Um, but I think there are multiple ways in which one can do this, one of which is beginning next year as a continuation of this exploration of the opening of the albums will be the presentation of um, material and objects from the uh, archive of Hazekunz itself in an exhibition that Sabina Branto will organize. Um, this will be on the occasion of the 75th anniversary of Hazekunz, and this will provide you know, further opportunity for historical examination of the legacy of these exhibitions. But I think there's a one important point that we want to underscore, and, and that is not to fetishize the archive, but the archive as a living substance of historical reflection uh, and an archive that you know, manifests different kinds of relationships in terms of um, you know, art history, in terms of politics, but it's also in terms of patronage. And, uh, but we will go beyond the immediate archive of House of Kunst in the exhibition, if I'm not revealing too much from what Sabina is planning, uh, to really at least move you know, beyond Munich, move beyond Germany, and maybe you know, move into other territories um, in, in Europe, to really understand the historical context in which um, you know, Grosse Deutsch is hostel, uh, you know, took place. Because there were many exhibitions in different parts of the world, you know, in, in certainly in Italy, in France, and in, in, in Russia, and we tend to forget that exhibitions of this nature, or what you would call regime exhibitions, were not only specific to Germany at this particular historical moment. So we want to really place an emphasis on defetishization of the archive of House of Kunst, but to really to link it to other historical models. Our focus is not on totalitarian art. Our focus would be on the archives of House of Kunst and the importance of that archive in opening up new areas of inquiry vis-a-vis -vis, uh, the, the museum. I think many people come to Hazekun specifically to simply to look at the building mm. and specifically to learn more about the uh, origins of his exhibitions. Uh, this is a very, very important contemporary interest and I think um, we will be working very hard to uh, you know, contextualize that interest in a historically sensitive way, in a curatorially you know, reflexive manner, but also more importantly to generate a dynamic interaction with the archive from the public uh, in a way that really makes sense. Um, the one thing I can say immediately in relation to that is uh, plans that we have for uh, in, in 18 months from now for um, uh, a permanent gallery um, dedicated to the archive in Hauser Kunst. It will be um, a continuation of what my predecessor Chris Deacon had already started with his critical reconstruction you know, project, which I think Sabina played an important role in excavating the archive, and you see that currently um, in a two-dimensional two form along the, in, along the corridor, one of the corridors of House of So we will have further opportunities to, sort of to think about what a permanent collection 
in a non-collecting public museum <laughs> will look like uh, in 2013.